We are back with a South Florida restaurant ordered shut for the fourth time, and tonight the owner says he's calling it quits. And that owner claims that he simply can't solve his rodent issue. Local 10 News investigator Jeff Heinz here has tonight's Dirty Dining Report. A hundred more rodent droppings. We're back at Jay's Kitchen. It is in Deerfield Beach, and it is the fourth time we have been here. Don't, don't, this is don't, like don't, the worst. In the past, Ming Su has refused to talk to us about all the rodent issues found in his restaurant. You're feeding customers and you have rodent droppings everywhere. This is bad. That was back in November, but today, Sue is raising the white flag. So I'm going to quit. You know, you're closing I, down. I'm closing down because uh, the whole building and the next building, same thing. Done. What made you decide to shut down? This problem I cannot solve. The address here, 196 North Federal Highway, last week an inspector was back. Rodent droppings were found at the cook line, on a reach-in freezer door in the kitchen, on a shelf with lids, next to a rice cooker, in the dishwashing area. Equipment was soiled with a black mold-like substance. So you're telling me all the places here have rodents? Yes, yes. But several tenants in this building telling us that's not true, that Sue's lease was not renewed, and that is why he's actually leaving. He just told us that the whole building's that's infested. That's not true. You, uh, you do not have rodents? We do not, and I attest to that. We definitely don't. Rodent droppings, live rodent in the kitchen, dead rodent in the kitchen under the cook line. Oh, no, but not dead rodent in the cook line. Is this Top Notch Deli? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We moved to West Park. Top Notch Deli and Catering is not living up to its name. Last week, 13 violations found by an inspector. No, no, everything all right. We're good. We're Today. Good. Last week, the inspector noted a live rodent in a storage area at the entrance of the kitchen, a dead rodent under a prep table in the kitchen. Rodent droppings were found in two spots, and a stop sale was ordered on cooked chicken, cooked goat, and rice because they were being held at unsafe temperatures. The address here, 5712 West Hallandale Beach Boulevard. Any, any explanation as to why it happened? Uh, no. Maybe. Is it acceptable to you? No, 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 no. Yeah, we are devastated with what happened. We are embarrassed. Sergio says he's the general manager of the new Umberto's. It's on East Atlantic Boulevard on the east side of the Intracoastal Bridge that's in Pompano Beach. Earlier this month, Umberto's was ordered shut due to a roach issue, and they were allowed to reopen. The very next week, another inspection and more roach issues. They were in this restaurant two hours and 25 minutes with lights in every corner of the restaurant. Roaches were found at the pasta flip-top cooler on the cook line, at a pizza station, at a steam table. They were actually crawling on deli paper and plates. Sergio claims he has an exterminator here twice a month. Somebody who eats here might say, I'm glad they spent two hours here, and I'm Correct. glad they Correct. looked at lights because that's their job. But, uh, All those places we just mentioned were allowed to reopen following an ordered cleanup and then a reinspection. Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News.